Hey guys, Chris from the Ultimate Recycler. I um I do include scrapping with my channel and a bit of e-waste scrapping, and I take e-waste through the shop. Most of my efforts are concentrated on getting value out of things, selling it on eBay, fixing the item, and selling it through my shop, or sometimes selling parts. But occasionally, I'm just going to do some scrap out videos because I know a lot of you guys like that. Uh, I picked this one up at our local transfer station. I took a load of e-waste out there, the old TVs and things that I've got value out of. Uh, the rest of it just goes out to the transfer station. And they're uh, nice enough to let me look through the crates and I can bring some stuff back. Now, I've never seen inside one of these. It's a uh, it's an inverter, a power inverter, for possibly for solar panels or something. I'm not too sure. It's a Grow Watt, Grow Watt PV grid inverter. Uh, I did quickly check eBay to make sure it wasn't valuable. Um, it's only a 2000 watt, so um, most of them I saw on eBay were sort of three to 5000 watt or bigger. There were a few lower wattage ones, but you know they're not overly expensive, and this has clearly been thrown out, so it probably has an issue. So I don't think it's worth me trying to, while trying to sell it as it is. But I will take the cover off and have a look and um, we'll scrap it out. There might be some parts value in there or it might just go for scrap. It is very heavy and I did notice the biggest aluminium heatsink I've just about ever seen. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, we'll pull it apart and we'll have a look together what's inside it. Okay, let's get the cover off. The screws that hold the cover on are actually Torx bits. So um, we'll take them out and we'll have a look under the cover. Okay, we might have to lever this off. And they, they always hide a screw behind the stickers or behind rubber feet on the base. There we go, that might make a difference. Success. Okay, what's inside? Oh, that's an impressive board. Nice bright red, lots of good copper coils there. Uh, some transformers, plenty of copper, very heavy wire as you'd imagine it um, carries a fair bit of current. Some good chips on that board. So I just moved the camera, hopefully it's in better position now. Uh, if I'm going to do a few of these scrapping videos, I want to get my positions right for things. Alright, let's get the rest of this apart. And that's got the top board out. Now, normally if this was a piece of equipment that I could test uh, and I was happy that the board was in operational condition, I'd certainly consider eBaying it. But um, as I don't know if this works, um, I don't know much about these things. I wouldn't know how to test it even if it uh, was operational. I don't have the time to muck around for too long. Uh, I won't worry, that board will go in the um, mid-grade boards, lots of nice chips in there, a couple of crystals, nothing much on that side, but um, that's all right. And the rest of the board's really just um, copper coils, large capacitors, uh, some relays there, so it's a, it's a power board. Not much value there, I'm going to take the copper coils off it, and um, there's probably not going to be much else that I want. And then I'll get these transformers out. I sure put a lot of screws in this one. There we go. So some big uh, MOSFET transistors, I think they are. They're mostly copper. Sometimes I sniff them out and throw them in a jar. Um, I've got a little heat sink, it's not worth getting off. Um, so really only the copper coils I think I want off this one. And the board will then go into my e-waste box to go out to the transfer station next time I go out there and I might bring something else back that I can salvage parts out of. Alright, we want to get these transformers out and the big aluminium heatsink. sink. 
Okay, snip the plugs off the wire. It's good heavy gauge wire, this. Got a fair bit of weight in it. But to get a good price for your copper wire, insulated copper, it needs to have no plugs on it. It's done. Three good little transformers there. What else have we got on the aluminium? Just an earth strap and just the casing. Okay, we'll pick all the screws up. As many of you who follow my channel know, I save all the hardware. It's worth dollars to me. Certainly better than scrap price. And the magnet's always really handy for picking them up. If they don't stick to a magnet, they're going to be stainless steel or brass. In which case I have separate jars for them. And they sell for even more. Now, I gather this is um, stuck on with some sort of sealing compound. gasket around there. A few more screws in there. And we've got a little connector block which again I'll save. Good steel case. Just to clean up this aluminium, we've got this gasket, got to come off. And some little risers here which will take off, they'll be steel as well. And there we have it, one very heavy piece of Aluminium, really good size heatsink. We'll weigh that one up soon. Now, just tidy up some loose ends. We'll get the wires out of this one. I have a jar where I put these connector blocks as well. I find that I'm sometimes using them when I'm making things, but they sell well in the shop. Hobbyists like them. Good heavy wire again. We need to take the terminals off. Your ribbon cable. Just check to see if there's any gold pins in there. No, they're not gold ones. Clean up the other bits of wire. I like to do this job as I'm going, save you a huge effort if you end up with a whole tub full of wire that needs cleaning. It's, um, it's a marathon to get through it sometimes. So if we do it as we go, it solves the problem. Okay, this board now. We'll get some value off here before we throw it into the general e-waste. I always pop the fuses out. They go in a jar. Uh, quick scan for any parts I want. Obviously the big coils I'm going to take. They should come off with a bit of a lever. Okay, we're all done with the scrap out here. It was a bit of fun. It's usually not worth the time to do a lot of these things, but they are fun and a lot of us have uh, an enjoyment in pulling things apart, especially for the first time. Let's click quickly see what value we've got. The mid-grade board is, oh, what's that, 100, a bit over 100 grams, so maybe about 20 cents. We'll write them down just to give us a bit of a, a value. 20 cents on the list. Uh, the transformers, there was these three good size ones. And the coils, I didn't actually bother trying to pull these apart because they're all, the bottom of them's all sort of, uh, it's had like resin poured around them and it just takes so much effort to get them off and get the copper clean enough to sell. So we'll sell them all as transformers. And also a couple of relays I broke off, they're just coils of copper wire in there. Again, not worth taking apart, I don't think. Uh, three kilos. So transformers at say 50 cents a kilo is $1.50 and the extruded aluminium is almost 4 kilos 
Um, there was a couple of little heat sinks I grabbed off the board. Wouldn't usually worry, but um, I've been melting a bit of aluminium lately and they're nice and clean to melt. So four kilos, uh, let's say a dollar at this stage. Used to pay a bit more. We'll keep it easy for the um, easy ease of mathematics. Not much insulated wire. Uh, again, we've got just over 100 grams. Uh, so let's say 20 cents for that lot. And the case is just um, basically light gauge steel. Uh, a bit over 3 kilos, say 30 cents. Although I will actually use that case. It's a nice solid box with a lid that fits neatly on it. I'll have a use for that somewhere around the trap. So that finishes our little scrap out of this um, inverter unit. Um, rough tally on prices, about $6, just short of $7 worth of scrap. I allowed 50 cents just for the hardware that I keep and put in jars, as I've told you. So a bit of return. It was fun. It didn't take very long. And as I just mentioned, I am going to keep that box. I put the lid back on it and all the screws and these couple of uh, brackets that I took off because it's it's going to be handy for something there'll be a day when I'll use that and I'll probably do a video on it and I'll refer back to this video so really all we have after this scrap out is one small handful of rubbish and one large power board that I ripped off a few bits that I wanted and that'll just go back out to the transfer station as e-waste so virtually no landfill I've got some good value in scrap and I've got some good hardware, and I've got a project box for down the track. Very good, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this scrap out, let me know. I'll do some more scrapping videos if people want them. I'll probably do them even if you don't. Bye.